Hi everybody, Brian here back. It's uh, May 7th, uh, beginning of May. The weather's beautiful today. Uh, spring is finally here. Uh, glad the winter is over with, that's for sure. Uh, makes my commutes a lot easier on my bike and just a pleasure to go outside and just enjoy the weather. But today I'm here to talk about what I picked up over the past week or so since my, I think my last video was in uh, March 20th. So this is about a month and a half, a month or so since I last uh, made a video about what I got. So we'll start off with, I picked up the last of the character Wii remotes I needed, and that's the Toad Wii remote. It's just white with the Toad, with Toad's red color in there. So this is the last of them I need. So that's uh, always awesome to pick up. Pick that up with a game card that I got from somebody. Uh, somebody sent me a, a GameStop card. Also picked up this is the collector's edition for Bravely Second. A uh, really big box, and that's because it comes with an art book, a full-size art book inside of it. Um, really cool to have. Um, I still haven't finished the first Bravely Default, but I, I do like it, but I just haven't got around to finishing it. I think I, and it's to the point where I'm so far in now that I forget where I'm at, so I kind of am hesitant to go back to it. But someday... <laughs> Maybe when I'm old and gray, I will finish it. Also, finally, finally, after checking Toys R Us every weekend for the past year, I found a Metroid World of Nintendo figure. I am collecting the World of Nintendo figures and the Amiibos because I love Nintendo toys. I wish I had these as a kid. Um, it's awesome to collect them now as an adult, but... Look at the detail on this guy, if you can see from the glare, just awesome. And I was so happy when I saw him, I kind of squealed a little bit in this store. Um, there was two of them there, so I hope somebody else got a little extra luck uh, with it. And I kind of left after work to look a little early on a Friday, so I bet if I would have went at my new usual time, it would, they would have been sold. Also, the big game I'm playing that came out for the Wii U, Star Fox Zero. Um, about, I'm on the last level, um, Venom. I took a route, I didn't open up any alternate routes yet. I'm having a, I'm fighting uh, Andros, so I don't want to spoil it, but I, I want to finish that up and then I go back and find the medals. There's a, there's all sorts of a s incentive to play again. Like, you find alternate routes, um, different medals, and just a fun game. The controls, people complain about them, but I really love them. Um, it allows you to fly in one direction, and if you swing by somebody, you can turn around and shoot them. Um, it takes about a few hour or two to get used to them, but once you do, I can't imagine playing it any other way. Um, great game, great music, great graphics, um, clean, nice, clean look, and the gameplay is excellent. Very arcade feely feel to it, and it comes with Star Fox Guard too. So you see here, it comes with two games in there, and inside this. You have Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard, which I haven't played yet. Now, from what I understand, Star Fox Guard is like a... I've heard it compared to Night Trap, where there's different cameras around this facility, and there's an invading army, and you got to switch to the right cameras to destroy the invaders. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, Star Fox Zero, if you heard about the controls, don't let that uh, deter you from playing a great game. Also, I don't know if I um, picked this up a while ago. I don't know if I um, mentioned it or not, but th I picked up the complete series of Rocco's Modern Life. This was at Walmart for 19 bucks or so. It's like five CDs. Um, this is one of my favorite shows. Um, I watched a few. I watched just um, the first disc or so, or a few episodes on the first disc. Still holds up great. Um, just an awesome show. Um, I highly recommend it to anybody who uh, has a chance to see Rocco's Modern Life. I don't know if it's on Netflix or whatever. But if you get a chance to watch an episode, watch it. It's very not written down to kids. It's very adult-oriented humor and stuff like that in it. Uh, some 3DS games. I picked up, this was a recent release, Sega 3D Classics Collection. I do have a few of the Sega 3D Classics on the 3DS. I think I have... Um, Sonic 1 and 2, Streets of Rage 1 and 2, and Sh Revenge of Shinobi. Um, this one has nine Sega Classic games. has the Al Genesis version of Altered Beast, Fantasy Zone 2, Galaxy Force 2, Fantasy Zone 
two for the Me uh, Master System, Maze Walker, and Thunder Blade. And there's um, Power Drift, which is like a never-before-released game over here, I think. I think it was an arcade game that was very rare over here. Puyo Puyo Puyo, which is like Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, and Sonic the Hedgehog. So for 30 bucks, I think $29.99, pretty awesome. And I hope they bring um, the second... Japan had two of these, apparently. I hope they bring the other one over. Um, and it came with these cool, like, little stickers. See that? Pretty awesome little stickers. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's the Sega 3D Classic Collection. Happy to have that. Also, a game that's re-released and tweaked on the 3DS. It was originally a Wii U release, and that's Hyrule Warriors Legends. Um, uh, the Wii game, Wii U game, I played about to this. There's a part where it splits in paths, and I stopped. Um, very difficult game for me to play because there's all these people on the screen, and you got to stop and run to somebody and help them out. But you got you got to go the whole way across the map. You got to multitask. I'm just like. I got the same feeling playing this as I did Pikmin 3, uh, which isn't, is to say that it was kind of overwhelming to me to manage all this stuff. Um, um, but I do want to finish it, and maybe I'll finish, restart it and finish it on the 3DS this time, because there is Linkle, which is right here. She's like a, a female hero from a village. And there's Tetra and Toon Link, and you can play as... Uh, the Skull Kid. And since I bought this at GameStop, it came with a little art book. Just the little card stock art book. It tells all about Linkle. There's her art. Some more art of her. A new Disturbance, Toon Link, Tetra, and King of the Red Lions, King Daphne's, is playable in this game. So cool little art book to have. Happy to have Hyrule Warriors Legends. Um, I'm playing, still playing Majora's Mask. I finally finished the um, Water Temple. It helped out the Zoras. And now I am, if I remember correctly, I just beat a big skeleton in the mountains. And I have I dug up a grave. And I have to find a way into another temple. But I'm slowly working my way through that, as well as the Wind Waker HD. I did finish up Twilight Princess HD. I didn't mention that. Awesome game. Um, almost like a new game, which... New Zelda game, because I forgot a lot about it. Um, very cool dungeons in it, and just very epic moments. Very, very good game. And also, there was a reprint of a game, kind of hard to find game, Infinite Space. This is from Platinum Games. I don't know much about it, but it was like 30, 40 bucks. I ordered it from a Canadian store, um, Game Something, I forget the name of them, but they mentioned they were reprinting it, and since I'm looking for DS stuff because it's really cheap, I decided to pull the trigger on it. Um, I don't know much about it. I've heard it's good, um, but for 30 bucks, I think, 40 bucks, I took a chance on it. So that's an infinite space here. And I don't know if I mentioned I got the Game Boy version of Double Dragon 2. Um, Double Dragon 2 on the NES is a game I have very high nostalgia for. I used to play it with my friend all the time, uh, co-op. I remember the helicopter door would open and suck you out, and the meat drop part with the meat grinders that drop down the meat things. Um, very fun co-op game. And I don't know if I mentioned this either, I also got for the NES Space Shuttle Project by Absolute Entertainment, the people who published A Boy and His Blob. This was at a store back in my hometown of Indiana, PA. 
um, that opened up. Um, I forget their name, but yeah, Space Shuttle Project. Also in that store, I picked up a really neat, I saw, I was looking around and I found a cool little Conquering Zelda, the Unauthorized Guide. And a neat little, it's all words about the first two Zelda games. Part 1, Defeating the Legend of Zelda. See, they have little maps. There's the first palace, the Eagle Palace. They have it drawn out like that, and they give you little tips. Destroy all the Stalfas with Link, Link's um, sword, and they have it like gridded off, and they say like it's C, okay, it's C5, which would be C5 right here, a K. It tells you over here that you got to destroy all the stealthos. So that's how the tip is kind of uh, worded out. And here's the overall map of the second quest. And it goes into the second game, I think. Or is this just the first game? No, it has the Adventure of Link in it, too. Uh, the Adventure of Link is... Let's see, where is it? It's in here somewhere. Yeah, part two, defeating the adventure of Link. So there you go. And I just like the artwork on it. it was, and I always pick up this kind of stuff when I see it. I love collecting old video game books and strategy guides and stuff like that. It was like five bucks. So also for PS3 at Walmart, they're clearing out a lot of their games. Um, so I picked up a game I've had my eye on for a while, and that's Puppeteer. It was like brand new for fifteen. Kind of a cool platformer. I love platformers. Kind of cool artwork. And going from the back about a puppet. A boy named Kutaro is magically transformed into a wooden puppet. He must obtain a pair of magical scissors, find his head, and make his way back home. So puppeteer. Awesome. And also at my lo local um, um, game ex or the store, the exchange. There's a series of media stores around here sell you stuff. They had for five bucks, I think, the best of PlayStation Network. These were four games that were only available for download. Uh, and on here is When Vikings Attack, Sound Shapes, Tokyo Jungle, and Fat Princess. So, happy to have that. And, got some cover plates here from the Nintendo Store, official Nintendo Store. Um, I've been collecting these even though I don't have a new 3DS because eventually I will get a new 3DS and I'll want the cover plates and they'll be hard to find. But I got this awesome looking um, Yoshi one with different colored Yoshis. I love Yoshi. A nice Goomba one. And this one is a Kanji. Nintendo. So in the kanji characters, it actually says Nintendo. This was originally for the first edition European new 3DS. They, this was only available for them. Um, it was up for a little time on Nintendo's site. And you could get it along with the Boo cover plates, which I still want to get. They are glow in the dark, um, like Boos. That when you turn out the lights, they go in the dark. So that's about. I have about one, two. Three, I have about nine cover plates now. So really cool to collect those. And so yeah, that's that's all I got. I'm currently still playing Wario Land Shake It. I'm going through that awesome game. I love the graphics and gameplay. is very simple and fun. Um, I'm in near the last world, but I have to buy enough. Have to get enough gold coins for a map to unlock the last world. Um, still playing Star Fox Zero, Majora's Mask, and I just got a new game called Pocket Card Jockey, which I want to start, which is a solitaire horse racing game made by Game Freak which I hear great things about, so I'm playing that. And that's about it. So I hope everybody has a great spring and a great summer um, starting up here soon, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.